Hello, this is Aya from Eon Software. I'm going to introduce a super easy way to import content from Plant Factory into other 3D applications. So we finished making our beautiful plant in Plant Factory. We checked the animation. It's working well. And now we're ready to export. So we go to Export Options, Autodesk FBX Export, Animated Points, make sure we have our frame rate, and then we just say OK. And now we can open up Maya. So the first thing you need to do is go to Settings and Preferences and load it in the Plugin Manager. You click Browse, and you should see Plant Factory Importer. You select it and open it, and then you just close this window and you shouldn't have to do this more than once. So you go to File, Import, and then you see Plant Factory FBX for Mental Ray. And now all you need to do is select your plant and click Import, and you should be good to go. Okay, so now we have our plant in Maya, and if we wanted to edit it, we could. The great thing about the importers is that they make it really easy to, you know, tweak the important parts of the plant that you'd actually want to change and then it leaves all the other information sort of hidden so you don't have to worry about it. If you go to Hypershade and you let's say I want to edit one of the leaves I just go to the Plant Factory Attributes menu and in it I can see that I can change the diffuse color, the specular color, the translucency which is very helpful with plants and the bump maps which can also be helpful if you want to change them or tweak them. So this is a really great menu to use if you want to edit your plant. But it's pretty much set for render. It looks pretty great to me. So now we're going to try a test render of the plant. So we're just going to quickly go and set up mental ray in the render settings and um, set up a quick physical sun and sky so it looks real. And then we can set up a camera and test out the animation of the tree and see how it looks. So we go to cameras, new camera, and here we are. Thank you for watching.